day and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I'm a little out of breath because I rushed upstairs because I was so excited to unbox this little brother. I can feel those books in there just waiting to be brought out. So without any further ado, let us get started. First thing I see, I want to show you guys. I have a messy desk, don't mind that. Is this beautiful artwork? I love it. Wow, let's pull it out. Shine bright. Wow, I love it. It's so beautiful. I just I pull this camera up. I love it. Look at that. But it's so beautiful. I like this here. Ooh. I like this here and just the whole picture. Oh, it's so beautiful. It reminds me of the camping scenes in Harry Potter that everybody hates. Which I kind of sort of love. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there is probably more magical artwork inside. Oh, I see it. So, ooh. Ah, yes. La, 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 la. Packing stuff because you know you send some stuff back to Literati, the books that you don't particularly want out of all of them, even though all of them are amazing. Except in this one or two bag. Okay. Okay. Ooh, just so much stuff in here. Hmm. So then we have ooh a, a re so we have our regular dear reader letter, and there's a recipe for Taiwanese rice balls. Very, very interesting. I asked my mom to make those. And then our little Roddy name piece. I love the artwork. Oh my gosh. It's so reminiscent of the cover, the box cover art, but it's so different. And I see there's some more of it. I also want to show you this. There's a BU monochrome blue sticker, and I like this. It's, you can definitely see the rainbow. Oh, I love it. So. Then we have are these books belong to custom stickers. I love them so much. I'm so excited to see what books we have and I see them here. Let's see. First one is Measuring the Cup. A beautiful story about food, family, and finding your place in the world. Wow, this is interesting. I might keep this. It's, oh, and it's a graphic novel. So cool. Wow. Okay, next one is Amari and the Night Brothers. And it is reviewed by two of my favorite authors, Angie Thomas and Nick Stone. Oh, I love it. And look at this beautiful cover art. I think I might just have to keep this one. Okay. Oh, okay. I've seen this one before. It's Hamptosaurus Rex. I don't actually have this, but it looks really good. Um, so I might keep this one. Oh, do I have to keep all of them? But still, super cool. Let's move on to Jokelopedia. I'm keeping this one. The third edition, over 836,000 copies sold. I'm keeping this one because my mom always gives my stepdad and I terrible jokes. So, now I'm going to give her some bad jokes. Yeah! Okay, our last book. Oh, no. 
thrilling thieves. Oh, Lars cheats and cons have changed history. I have to keep them on. I love them. They all look so amazing. I just realized it, but I don't know. I didn't realize it before, but she has like a ski mask. Like when I never get why superheroes are like, let me put on my mask. <gasps> my area around my eyes is covered. Nobody can tell who it's me. Take it off. Is that you? <gasps> of course, then we have these um, Club Phoenix and how it works and everything. And then how to return the books. That is not going to be needed. Oh my gosh, do I have to keep them all? This is a terrible, oh, this is a terrible dilemma. These all look so amazing. I know. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Guys, I will check back in with you because this is a dilemma. I don't know what to keep and what to give away. It, they're all so amazing. I'm just so excited to ring, ring them all. I'm so excited to read them all. <sighs> I love books. But as I said, I will check back in with you. I will tell you what books I kept, what books I gave away, returned. Whew, this is going to be a big decision. But till then, goodbye.